Okay, another box question. Have a look here. This time, we know the material has to be 1200 square centimeters. And we want the box to be again with square base and an open top. This time, we're trying to find out the biggest possible volume of the box. So let me just draw you guys the picture. So this is what we know. Again, we have a square base for the box. So we know this is going to be X and X. And let's say this is the height of the box. Right, so it looks like this. So I will just put on the height to be Y because again, we don't know if that's a cube or not. All right. First of all, the material is 1200. So that means the surface area, I'll just put an A for that. Well, right here, remember we have a square base. So let's take this into account, uh, consideration first. On the bottom here, we have the area X times X. So that's X squared. Let me put that down. And then we have to add, well, if you look at the side right here, for this part, it's just a rectangle and the area is X times Y. And the truth is we actually have four of them, right? So another one here, another one in the back, and then another one on this side. So we have to add four times X, Y like this, okay? And this time we know the surface area is going to be 1200. So that's what we have. And let's go ahead and put down what we want to know. This time we are trying to get the biggest possible, so we want the maximum. And we are talking about the volume, so I'll just put down V. And the volume of this box is just X times X times Y, which is just X squared Y, like this. And now, look at this, and we will isolate the Y. So to do that, let me minus the X squared on both sides, so we get 4XY equals 1200 minus x squared, and then divide everybody by 4x, so it looks like we have y equals 1200 minus x squared over 4x, like this. So, we'll put this right here, so we can get the volume in terms of just x, and that's going to be x squared, and then for the y, it's just this, which is 1200 minus x squared divided by 4x, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And can we do more? Of course. First of all, we can cancel, cancel, and this is still one of them, right? And then we can distribute, distribute, so we get the volume is 1200 times x, and then minus x squared times x, which is x cubed, and then over 4. So let me just write the s over 4 here, and then over 4 here. So that means here the volume is 300 after you reduce, x and then this is minus 1 over 4 x cubed, like that. So let's go ahead. Here is our function. The volume is 300x minus 1 over 4 x cubed. And of course, we can just go ahead and do our derivative now. And remember, you should do the algebra first, right? Simplify, do all the stuff before you do your derivative. All right, so here we go. V prime. And again, the V right here is for the volume, not for velocity. Anyway, the derivative of this 300x is just 300, so that's nice and easy. And then for this one, I will bring the 3 to the front and the minus 1, so this is minus 3 over 4, and then we have x squared, like this. So that's it. And then, of course, we can go ahead and set this to be 0. And if you would like, of course, you can just move this to the other side, and then just do whatever you need to do, take the square root, multiply by whatever, all that stuff, and you can isolate the x. But I will still try to show you guys how to factor this, right? So I will factor out of 3 first, and I will get 100 minus 1 over 4 x squared, right? And then right here, this is the difference of two squares, so I will look at this as 3 times, this is 10 minus 1 half x, okay? And then the other one is 10 plus 1 half x, and right here you get 0. Anyway, here are the critical numbers, we have two of them, this right here, of course, you have to have x equal to 20, so I will just write that down. And the other one, this is going to give us negative 20. But the truth is, negative 20 doesn't even make sense in our situation, because we are talking about the length of the box. So you don't really have to worry about that. But anyway, draw the number line test real quick. Here is the x, and then here's the v prime. So let's focus on 20, that's the main thing. If you want to put on negative 20, it's right here. Anyway, Pick a number slightly less than 20, let's say 10 or 0. This time we can use 0. That will be positive. That will be positive. So everybody is positive right here. 
right? And then we'll pick a number bigger than 20 that say 100 or something, I don't know. Just put it here, put it here, you get negative and then all that. Yeah. So that means what? Well, right here at 20, we will have the biggest, right? This is the maximum because the volume, the derivative, changes from positive to negative, right? Increasing to decreasing for the original volume. So we have a max. Well, that's pretty much it. And the question is asking us for the largest possible volume. So we're not looking for the dimension. So I will just write this down here for you guys. Here is the answer. The largest possible volume is when you put down 20 into the volume formula right here. So I'll just put down V of 20. I'll put down 20 right here. So I will get 300 times 20 and then minus one over four times 20 cube, right? So of course, here now we can just work this out. You will get 4,000, right? And of course, we should also include the unit and its volume. So we will have centimeters cube like this. So this right here will be the answer.